Hit me up with your comments. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I thought I'd take a minute to go ahead and answer some of your comments and questions on some of the videos over the last few weeks. So let's go ahead and check out some of these comments and get started. Bob Woodlock left a comment that said, thanks for showing us another great feature. At some point, I would love to know how you do the arrow you're using in your videos. Well, Bob, the arrows that I use are actually from a screen capture or screen editing program called Camtasia. Camtasia does a whole lot of great things. I use it mainly to do screen capture. So when I'm doing things in Pinnacle Studio, I'm using Camtasia to do my screen recording. After the screen recording is done and I click on stop, it sends it into the Camtasia editor. From there, I can add callouts, which are the arrows. I can add the arrows wherever I need them. And then when I'm done adding those arrows, what I do is I export the file from Camtasia along with the screen recording and the arrows and everything. And I export that as an MP4 file. Once I'm done with that, I take my MP4 file of my screen recording with the arrows in it, along with all of my other footage and bring that into Pinnacle Studio to edit the video and send it out to you. The next comment is from Kane's World, and his comment says, Can someone please tell me how to get OKs and effects from Blood and Bullet Shots having a hard time using Pinnacle Studio 19? Well, Kane's World, there's a whole lot of places online that you can go to get uh, muzzle flashes, bullet shots, and all that good stuff. There's two places that I generally recommend. The first one is Video Copilot. They have a product called Action Essentials, and Action Essentials is just a bunch of video clips and images. So what they are are PNG images or video clips, usually MOV files with alpha channels in them. And they allow you to just bring those images and videos into Pinnacle Studio. And what happens is it is just the image of the muzzle flash with no background or the image of a bullet with no background or the video of a muzzle flash with no background. And those things can easily be applied in Pinnacle Studio 18, 19, and 20 because those versions of the software allow you to use alpha channel, which basically don't remove, but they don't show the background when the clip is brought into the timeline. And if you do want to get something that's free, then another option that I'd like to talk about is a site called detonationfilms.com. They have a bunch of muzzle flashes and smoke and other effects that have either a green background, a blue background, or a black background. So you can remove the green or the blue background using the chroma keyer, and you can remove the black background using the luma keyer in Pinnacle Studio. So those are the things that I recommend. Either get Action Essentials from the Video Copilot website, or go to detonationfilms.com and look at their free stuff pages and grab some things from there. The last comment is from Miles C. And this comment says, help, my Pinnacle Studio does not show all the icons in my timeline just like yours. Well, Miles C, what you see on the toolbar or even in the program altogether really depends on which version of the program you buy. There are three versions of the program. So if you get Pinnacle Studio 20, you can get Pinnacle Studio 20 Basic, Pinnacle Studio 20 Plus, or Pinnacle Studio 20 ultimate. Based on which version you have, you will see different things in a timeline, you'll have different effects, you'll have different features like keyframing or um, new blue effects or different things in a timeline. It's all kind of stuff that really depends on which version of the program you buy. Now the basic version, to me, don't even go there. It's the least expensive one but you will not be able to do a lot of things with that version of the program. So I recommend that you get plus or ultimate. If you want a bunch of extra new blue effects add-ons, get ultimate. If you don't care about all of those add-ons and effects, then get plus because plus will give you basically all of the features that you need that ultimate has besides the extra effects. So basically Miles C, you probably have the basic version of the software, which means you're not going to have some of the things on the toolbar 
that I have in mind. So make sure that you get plus or ultimate. All right, guys, that's it. But before I move on, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, RC Games. RC Games makes YouTube videos about gaming. So do me a favor, head over to his site, check out some of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like RC Games did, then make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. Also, if you want to make a tutorial request, go to the video description and fill out our video tutorial request form as well. Now, I need you to do a few things for me. First off, leave me your comments, all right? If you've got extra things to add to our discussion that we've been having on this video about the comments that these people have left, uh, leave those things in the comment section below. If you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction. It helps other people know that the content in this video is good. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.